I'm Lizzie Green and I'm from Dallas, Texas. I was a very enthusiastic, rambunctious child. I wasn't afraid of bugs or spiders or anything like that. I would kiss frogs because, not because I wanted to turn into a princess, just because I wanted to see if I got warts. Like, I was that kid. I had done the school talent show every single year of my life. Pretty much every year I sang a different Taylor Swift song. Like, that was like my thing, is every year I would sing like a Taylor Swift song. My music teacher said, you should really try theater. I mean, since you love performing in front of other people, you should really give it a shot. And so I was like, okay, let's do it. So I went to a local theater and I started performing and doing plays and all that stuff. And I started out in musicals and then went into comedy. And during that time, I was discovered by an agent in Dallas, and I was given a few roles and a few auditions, and it was kind of just like practice to me. Like, I was just like, oh, fun, script, let's audition. I didn't really ever think anyone, anything would like come of it. But eventually, something did come of it, and I met a manager. I was sort of given a few more auditions and all that stuff, and one of which was Nikki Ricky Dicky and Dawn. And I auditioned for it, like I said, not thinking anything of it. I got a call back which was something that had never happened in my entire life. I flew out to LA and did another audition and they kept calling me back. And I think there were like a total of like 10 auditions auditioning for this role of Dawn. And the final script was 12 pages long. And I had two days to memorize it. Memorizing those 12 pages was really hard for me because it was my first time ever doing this. So I eventually did it and that's where I met my TV brothers and also where I met my TV parents. And at the end, um, we all just did like the whole quaddle thing where we went, aw, Harper. And that night, I figured out that I had gotten the role. And it was one of the best feelings of my entire life because I was just so exhilarated and excited. You, under no means, have to be a celebrity or have a fan following or be famous in order to make a difference in the world. When I was in the second grade, I saw an ASPCA commercial and seeing in the arms of the angels playing in the background and seeing all the sad animals, it absolutely killed me. I decided to go up to my principal and ask if I could start like a fundraiser for ASPCA. I started like on the next Monday and I raised $178 and it was such a good feeling to be able to go and like give that to the people at ASPCA because they were so incredibly grateful because a little goes a long way for them. From there on out, I was really focused on in my life, I was always wanting to make others feel good and make others happy. But nowadays, people are really focused on social media followers and how many likes you get on a photo, and that's really not like what's the most important. Like, what's most important is that you're like making a difference. You are, you are going to be the change in this world, and that's so important because, like, especially when you're all worried about like how many likes you have, you sort of like bring your mind to this like superficial world almost and social media I'll tell you right now is not the most important thing you'll go into an audition and they'll ask you like okay so what is your fan following how many followers do you have and it's just kind of you get kind of taken aback you're like oh but I'm so much more than followers and I believe that's what everyone should know like there's you're so much more than the number on your photo or how many likes you get or how many followers you have like you can be exactly who you want to be and you should not worry I'm Lizzie Green and you're so beautiful now.